Hey guys, it's Chris from WWT FIFA Mods. Uh, today we're going to go through a tutorial to make faces for uh, FIFA 16. Uh, I've got multiple requests to do this. So uh, yeah, today I'm going to show you how to make, say, Martin Odegaard's face. I've actually started off on him. And um, midway through I realized that I had to record a tutorial at some point. So I decided, yeah, why not just go back to where I started and just show you guys how to make a face like his. So uh, you'll be needing a few tools for this. You'll be needing a Blender, uh, in particular version 2.71, because that's what the script is compatible with. Uh, the other tool you'll be needing is Photoshop. I'd be using um, CS5, I guess. I think, yeah, this is CS5. But you can use CS6 or CS4 or anything else like that. I think uh, that shouldn't really matter too much. CC as well. Only problem with CC would be that uh, you wouldn't be having the NVIDIA tool. Uh, this is an additional plugin, of course, but I think some people are having, uh, actually most people are having the issue with CC, where they can't use the NVIDIA Bump Map plugin. Um, the other tool you'll be requiring is CG File Explorer by Shominator from the 3D Game Dev blog. Uh, this is the tool you'll be needing to extract files from the FIFA database. So if you have uh, this version, I think all the other versions in the future, that um, will have the same features as this. So you basically select the game directory, as in where you have installed FIFA. It should be in the usual directory, which is uh, in program files 86. After that, it's origin games, and then you select FIFA 16, and all your files should pop up. So this tool is pretty useful when you want to extract files, uh, meant for faces or any other files, actually, as you can see here. And you can use it to regenerate as well. So uh, yeah, those are the tools we'll be using. Um, now starting off, I've actually got all the files I need. That is all the files from the FIFA uh, archives. I've taken them out and put them into these folders. So you can see every single player's face container is in here. It's a really huge file, that's why I'm not sure if I should be sharing with you. I guess it's, yeah, it goes about one gigabyte, almost two gigabytes. So um, I don't think it'll be uh, something possible to share. I think it'll be a lot easier for you guys to actually extract it manually by yourself. Uh, also, uh, my database is only after the second title update, so those faces like Norwich and Bournemouth won't be part of this database. Um, so yeah, once you've done um, deciding which player you actually want to make, so like I said, I'll be making Martin Erdegaard. I decided that um, Dean Hammond is a good choice for the head model, so that's another thing you need to do. You need to decide an existing head model from the game which resembles your player at least uh, to some extent, if not entirely. And the next thing you need to do is uh, get a hair model as well. So I've decided to use uh, Fabio Cointrao's hair model. Uh, another thing you need to note is that FIFA 15 head models and, and FIFA 14 and earlier versions of FIFA, their head models are not compatible with FIFA 16, but the hair models are compatible. So just remember that when you're choosing. So if you've got some interesting hair models from FIFA 15, just FIFA 15, mind you, uh, you can use them in FIFA 16 if they aren't available. So yeah, I've decided to take Fabio Cointrao's hair model and um, um, also... I've decided to take uh, Dean Hammond's head model. So you can get their IDs uh, from, uh, say, sofifa.com. You can paste them here, and it'll show up all the files that you need. So I'm just, I've just taken Dean Hammond's head model and uh, his face texture RX3, and Fabio Cointrao's hair model, hair texture, and hair LOD. LOD is level of detail, so how the hair should look when it's seen from. Uh, a distance. So I've collected all those files, all the files that I need for early guard and put them here. You can see the blender file from what I'd already started. The I file, I'll show you how to make that as well. So you need a few reference photos and uh, so I've got mine here as you can see it's a really nice photo actually to make a face. Um, I've, as you can see I've already started making but I'll show you all this, don't worry. So in the beginning I just open up a new folder inside and I place all the RX3s that I need. Uh, the IRX3s are not uh, easily accessible, but actually it's, it's not much of a difference. It's just needed so that you can view it properly in Blender. I'll leave one in the description. So once you've collected these six files, you need to have six files, the ones that you can see with the folder icons. They're not actually folders, they're RX3 containers. 
So um, you need to rename them, uh, rename just the ID part of it actually. So you have eyes underscore some ID underscore zero underscore textures. You need to replace the ID with early guards ID, which again you can find on sofifa.com. Uh, once you're done with that and uh, you sort everything out, I would recommend having all the textures exported. So I can show you that. You can click on open file the folder, single file. That's already opened up to that folder. You may have to redirect yourself to that particular folder. All you have to do is say if I want to open up the face textures, you click on face textures, click here, uh, and in a few milliseconds you'll find the face section. And I'd say export PNG. And it's already exports so I want to do that and the same for this as well sometimes you'll find three of these files here here you just see head underscore uh, CM which is the actual face texture head underscore SK which is your light map sometimes you'll find head underscore NM which is a bump map uh, which is required for closer detail I'll show you how to make those as well and the other one is a WKL which is based on wrinkles which is not really necessary and I don't know how to make them myself so yes, I think uh, that's all the details that I need to cover beforehand. Now let's get on with making the face. So first off, here's the script. There's a, there's a video how to show you how to install the script. Please go into that. It's available on our channel. I don't think I have to replace. Uh, I don't think I have to um, make another one for that. Clean up, clean parts, fix settings. Now here, I know it says FIFA 15, but the script is compatible with FIFA 16 as well. So don't worry about it. Open up your um, head model here as it says it's got the labels on it so it should be pretty easy your hair model now the face texture so face texture hair texture and your eye texture as well this video I'm just going to be showing you how to set up the model into blender once you've done this of course uh, check create materials from texture files and press import in a few seconds your files should be loaded as you can see and click assign created materials don't forget to do these steps please once you're done select each model from here click smooth that's just to see the model in a better uh, uh, just to see it better I guess uh, use a texture rendering so that you can actually see the model like this and um, uncheck the light map so you can see it like this now this is the face that we're gonna convert to make it look like Erdegaard so first we need to work on the model so you can choose which files you want to be seen here by clicking on the eye icon here so if I don't want to see the hair I can just click on that and it will be invisible I can do the same with the eyes so the eyes are invisible and so on and so forth so um, yeah so this is how basically you set up all the models into your um, blender rendering view now if at all um, you're not accustomed to the blenders uh, to blender user interface I recommend you actually get to know it a little bit better try to play around with a few settings I think if you install blender for the first time you'll have a different viewport you'll have um, something like that I guess uh, without the head model of course and you'll have some sort of a cube or something like that so that will show here as cube as you can see here it's a lamp camera and there'll be something else called cube all you have to do is imagine this is cube you just right click and you delete it I'm not going to delete this of course and um, what I'd say is you need to actually import all the models or at least one or two models find out how it looks and then you just move it around zoom into whatever is convenient for you I'd say just to make it faster just to the front so it just gets to the front view immediately and once you're done just delete all the models and then you just save a startup file so once that's done every time you start a blender you'll, you'll open up this view with none so every time you import any model it'll just import it in this view so it'll be a lot easier to start editing so uh, that's all that is there for this part of the video. Follow up for the next part of the video in this tutorial. I think it'll have about four parts, but I'm not really sure. It'll depend on um, how long and uh, how much detail I'm putting into the video. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.